Hi friends, I'm Olga Kirsch and welcome to my studio. And today we're gonna paint beautiful, very tender magnolia uh, with beautiful petals and shades and just let's enjoy it. To paint a magnolia I take on my big brush, brush number 10, I take uh, Napoli yellow or any warm yellow and I to eye with big white brush strokes and very diluted color I paint the first the front petal and immediately I add very diluted quinacridone rose around it I want to keep the top of the petal more transparent and white and I add pink color to the bottom of the petal, around the petal, and uh, I keep in mind that magnolia flower, it has a big vine in the middle, so I try to show it here, and I add more and more colors on the edges, I want to emphasize it a little bit here. I wash my brush, dry it, and with almost dry brush I distribute the pink part around very carefully. Just like this, this is our front petal. Uh, now uh, I want this to dry a little bit and I will paint a few petals which are behind. I take Napoli yellow, just Napoli yellow, and I show some of these petals. I dilute the color a little bit. I do not want it to be too yellowish. And I will try to paint few petals in one go. So I imagine that our petals, our magnolia petals, grows like this. So basically with uh, Napoli yellow I make the basement where I will distribute Queen Acridon rose and I let them to mix by themselves basically and the trick is here is the light part of the petal to make it contrast I make this petal brighter this is, this part is darker so I will make this petal lighter but to make it visible this time I add some pink, pinkish color on the edge here and I try to distribute the pink shades around and now I, uh, I dry my brush and I press my brush on the paper and I want to remove a little bit of color here and uh, I will do the same around for example I will add one more petal here and I am very careful where the intersection is intersection with the front petal and I will show you here and here will be another petal and when it is still um, watering and uh, liquid I add in acrylon rose on the edges and in the place of intersection to make a deep like this Here I will add quinacridone rose 
on this spot you see our <laughs> magnolias is appearing and of course i keep in mind that the bottom part is more intense with the color so i add with <laughs> with very um, intense brush stroke and with very wide brush stroke i add some uh, colors here i wash my brush i clean it and i go once again and drag out the color and same here don't do don't repeat this movement too often because then it will create a mess uh, now let's uh, paint few nice petals around um, actually this is still wet that's why i will right now i will paint uh, the branch for the branch i'm taking oxid red So with oxid red, I paint the brush. Oh, <laughs> I paint the branch. Yes, I paint the branch and branch of magnolia. It has a lot of knots around. I, I just press my uh, brush, with the belly of the brush, and uh, make this random. Um, random ornament and now I add one dike or any dark brown color preferably on the bottom part of the branch and maybe right under the bud to add more contrast and also there is a shade which comes from the petals and we want to show that as well like this and now I, le uh, I leave the branch now I leave the branch and I move back to our bud it's important to wash the branch carefully because now it's with dark color i again i take a uh, napoli yellow very diluted and i i imagine that my petal will go like this Oop. and here it will make a curve and immediately i mix it with green acridon rose and here i would like to remove that intense yellow just with clean and dry brush I go a few times here and now I'm mixing colors for this petal and I add a little bit more pink here and we will be back to this petal again maybe maybe even now um what i would like to do now is again to add this intense pink and i distrib uh, i distribute this pink alone on the wines now what's um next step is this petal the bottom petal mm, actually i think i would rather yes i would like to make this petal open just here again um napoli yellow I paint something which looks like a drop and with white uh, with thick brush it's very convenient because it leaves more color on the edges and keep 
keeps the middle very diluted, very diluted. And I, again, I mix it with clean acrylic rolls. I add more intense color to the root, to the beginning of the petal, and try to distribute it with clean and almost dry brush. It's the best way you could distribute watercolor. And I remember about the main, uh, the main vein, about the main vein. And you see, I just drag out the pink color to form, to shape this uh, main vine, the main vine of of um, magnolia. I add some pink shades here. I and I look at this petal. I think it looks a little bit too bright if we compare with others. So again, I wash my brush. I dry it and I very carefully press and get out all the unnecessary bright shades. Um, if we look on our magnolia, it's pretty lovely already. I want to add some um, touches, some final touches of pink here. It's a little bit dangerous because it's already dry and actually maybe it was the wrong move but we have our paper towel and we grab everything back and I just want to make some crispy edge to this pot and I wash my brush and go along this pink part and just drag out the color. And I try to find a place for the central line like this. And now our magnolia is almost ready. I like that it is very tender but also I think it would be nice to add some um, uh, it would be nice to add some uh, shades around with dry clean brush I just drag out the color and it makes our petals on the back more intense. It also helps to divide the petals. And this is it. Our beautiful magnolia is ready. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the process and you're gonna try to do it by yourself. I'm looking forward to see your magnolias. Tag me on Instagram, olga.kölsch. Uh, write me in the comments which flower you would like to paint next. And see you next time. Bye-bye.